what is up everyone so this is Godsway we hear from serene art in today's tutorial i have a short birthday flyer designing for you okay it's very very simple so what i'm going to do in this tutorial is that i'm going to use only one font throughout this tutorial all right so let's just jump into it so the first thing that i'm going to do is to bring in the image and i'm going to use the image as a background for our work so i'll tap on these three dots here then i'll go to from use image from gallery okay then i'll pick the image and that image will become my background automatically okay so let me quickly look for the image okay i got it here so i'll just crop it a little bit like this and tap on a check mark boom this is what i'll be having here now the next thing for me to do right after here is to tap on a plus sign go to shapes okay and have my shape here now what i'm going to do to this shape is that i'm going to add a gradient fill to it okay and i'll make one part transparent so let me go to gradient quickly i've already set my gradient over here and in my previous video i taught you how to do this okay so you can go and check it out how to come up with your gradient like this okay so having selected this i'll tap on a check mark okay after this the next thing that i'll do is to make a duplicate of this particular shape okay so i'll go to copy all right so i've made a copy of it now what i have to do now is to reduce the size of the second one okay i'll just reduce the size of it a little bit and bring it down here cool now i can go ahead and lock these two layers basically this is the flyer the birthday flyer we are coming to design so the first thing that i'm going to do right after all this is to go to test and add my first test which is happy all right and like i said i'm going to use only one font so that font is montserrat yeah montserrat black that's what i'm going to use this one so i'll just have to increase the size of it and bring it down so just watch me good bring it down here maybe you can come and change the color of it to this and you change the orientation of it so come to style and select italic for it okay and this is what you'll be having now you could see that part of the y is not showing okay the later part or the remaining parts of the y is not showing so tap on it go to padding all right then increase the right padding then the remaining y or remaining parts of the y will be showing just like this one okay i hope you got that if you see that the size is too big you can reduce it a little bit okay but i think this one is okay now the next thing for me to do is to make a copy of this and edit it to birthday so we have happy birthday so i write birthday good and what i have to do here is to reduce the size of it okay and bring it down here look at the way i am arranging this okay you can still reduce the size a bit so you are okay just look at the arrangement here and follow it carefully i want everything to be in line okay so i just have to reduce the size till i get it perfect so this this might be your only struggle which i think should not be a struggle okay so that is it i've arranged them and i'll just have to change the color to maybe something like white or any other color you want but i will go with white okay all right so basically this is it the next thing for me to do is to enter the person's name so i'll i'll select a random name so let me just just make a copy go to edit then enter any name at all i think i'll go with the name vivian all right vivian yeah so I'll make it capitalized then i'll just reduce the size of it and make it normal okay so this one there will be no italic effect applied to it and i still have to reduce the size okay it shouldn't be competing with 
the other elements over there good i think 26 is okay now you can decide to add what we call the the background effect to it but i'm not going to add that i'm referring to this let me select it for you to see the background okay this one i'm i'm referring to something like this but i'm not going to add it over here i'm just going to leave it like that okay and push it closer to the y okay and push it to the top a little bit just like this one i think this is okay for me and probably the next thing that you might want to do is to enter the date okay so uh let me do that quickly let's say it is 30th november right so 30th november so november for short that is nov so i'm going to use the same font again like i said earlier i'm just going to use one font throughout this design so that is exactly what i'm doing here so i just have to reduce the size of it again and you know it doesn't uh, have to be competing with other elements like that okay so i'll push it to this corner and use the position tool to make it look okay right here and if possible i'll just get some round shape and put around it but i think this is okay okay this is okay this is perfect a simple birthday flyer now i've forgotten to tell you this the condition for you to design something like this okay a very simple one like this i i said it in my previous video but let me say it again the picture that you are using should be of a high quality it should be a nice picture i got this picture from puzzles.com okay you can equally go and download it from there okay they download a lot of pictures or free stock images that you can use for your designing you can get them from puzzles.com and splash i think i'll do a, a, a whole video on that for you to maybe kind of go through and know how to use those platforms all right yeah so basically this is it for this video and if you are new over here please consider subscribing and if you're old over here thank you so much for coming back and i hope to see you in my next video bless up